Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Robert, the Daily Trader. It is September 20th, and we are going to take a look at Palantir stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. Wow, Palantir uh, had a little drop today, so we dropped $2.16. Uh, that's good for 7.52%. Ouch. We closed at uh, 26.55. Post market, we seem to be up by 5 cents a little bit. So let's look at the damage. We have a red candle and uh, look at the top of the body of the candle, which matches exactly the resistance now but the support that we had before so last friday this is what the candle looked like so we were getting close to 29 and now we dropped underneath this resistance here that belongs to the second channel so the first channel was here so we are just back into this second sub channel and we touched the uh, wick here touched uh, 26 dollars exactly that's a big drop Let's go to the one hour chart here. It just happened today and it just happened this morning. Boom, we opened right down here. So there is a gap in trading here. So there are no transactions between the low of last Friday and the high of today. So a big gap in the morning. We went even lower than 27 and came back up. And it looked like we were going to just stabilize here, but no. The stock kept going lower, lower, and lower, and it stabilized above uh, 26, 24. Let's look at the daily chart to see the damage in terms of the indicators. So uh, stochastic plunged, uh, rightly so, at 51. RSI, of course, and MACD is still crossed over bullish. So for MACD, this drop uh, does not mean that there is a reversal in trend because we have been going up for a long time uh, without with very few downturns but this is a big one and dmi is also considering that things are still bullish so where does that leave us so the thing that we need to check is if uh, 26 dollars is going to hold so if 26 dollars is going to hold it's going to take some time, I think, for uh, the stock to stabilize there because of this uh, big fall here. So 26 is a very important point. And of course, it's not impossible that the stock goes back down within this bear channel that we have here. We don't want that, but um, it's always possible. So uh, we need to be ready for that possibility. You can take a look at my Tesla video where I take a look at the Nasdaq. So there's something that happened today on Nasdaq that you need to be aware of. So just head over to my Tesla video. I did a little uh, Nasdaq analysis. Maybe this is something that we need to keep an eye on. One candle does not make a trend, but we just need to be careful to see what is going to happen next. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. You can become a member of this YouTube channel. We have a TradingView affiliate link. And for myself, I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.